Good morning, guys. Welcome to the first day of the Potato Reset with me. My name is Amy and I'm going to be doing a potato reset for a full week, uh, potentially longer if I enjoy it. Um, I have lost 60 pounds eating the starch solution and using low calorie density to guide me over the last couple of years. But the reason why I'm doing the potato reset today is because I've recently come back from uh, nearly a month in India where we were eating a lot more processed stuff, sweet, oily stuff. And having come back, I realized I want to reset my taste buds. So the potato reset can be done for so many different reasons. It's fantastic for weight loss. As I'm sure you guys know, potatoes are incredible for weight loss. So it really can kind of kick you up a notch when you're in a bit of a plateau or something. But the reason I'm doing it, obviously, but the reason, main reason I'm doing it is to reset my taste buds. So I'm not thinking about anything uh, sweet or overly salty or, uh, well, I do actually enjoy my salt, or especially oily. Um, so anyway, that is the reason I'm doing it. And today is my first day. You are currently propped up on a potato. Um, I wanna show you what I'm doing in terms of potato prep. I was gonna say meal prep, it's basically just potato prep this morning. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, I did a full grocery haul and I kind of gave you an insight into the meals I've got planned for the coming week. You'll have to bear with me. For those of you who are new here, I've got a small baby and also a four-year-old, but Romy is with me all day and she is very, very noisy. So just, she's having a lovely time, which is cute. So anyway, so I wanna show you what I'm doing in terms of food prep today. I should have done some potato prep yesterday, to be honest, but I didn't because the time kind of ran out and it was a busy day. But, um, and I probably should have done it first thing this morning when I woke up, but I also didn't do that because I was busy with the kids and doing school stuff. So. It's quarter past 10. I'm not hungry yet because I had a massive pasta last night, so that's fine. I don't need anything immediately. If I did need some immediate potato, I would use my trusty friend, the microwave, which has some nappies next to it. Sorry about that. Um, so stick it in the microwave, good to go. But I'm not hungry yet, so that's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna show you the meal prep that I'm gonna do right now. So I have got all of these potatoes ready. Firstly, sorry, it's very sunny. There's nothing I can do about that. So firstly, this is my potato drawer, and I also had to use this drawer for my extra potatoes. So anyway, that's where I store my potatoes. But I am going to be baking loads of sweet potatoes this morning. Um, I'm assuming that I'm probably gonna want a couple of sweet potatoes for breakfast every single morning, uh, along with veggies and other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm doing eight. That'll keep me going for four days, but I probably will have potato, sweet potato snacks in between meals, maybe, if I get hungry. So might only last a few days, I'm not sure. Then I, I've just had a quick look and I've decided um, out of all the meals I went through, I actually want to have the mash for lunch today. So I've got these hella big potatoes. I've got two of them because I think I probably will only need one because that is actually the size of my head. Um, but what I was thinking is if I just make some extra mash and I'll put that aside um, and then tomorrow I, I can use it to make like uh, my little mash air fried balls that I was chatting about. So that's my plan for that. And obviously I'm just gonna steam a bunch of potatoes in my lovely Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can steam them in a regular steamy pot. But um, for me, it's just more convenient to use the Instant Pot. So anyway, that is my meal prep plan for this morning. Mash, bake and steam, bake. So I'll show you what it all looks like when it comes together. And I'll show you when I actually get into having some breakfast, but I don't know when that will be because like I said, I'm not hungry in the slightest yet. Um, so I know I haven't really talked about this, but I am going to allow myself soya milk for mash purposes and mainly for tea purposes. For those of you who don't know, obviously I am British. I love tea. It's a British thing. You'll have to deal with it. Um, but anyway, I have quite a few teas a day and that is not something I'm willing to give up during this potato recess. So anyway, um, I'm gonna be having my tea. Mm. Plus it's winter and it's cold and it keeps me warm. Um, so yeah, anyway, I will show you everything that I eat today and I'm extremely excited about it. If you guys are excited about joining in with this potato reset, I am starting it on Friday so that I can upload it when you guys start on Saturday. So hopefully it's Saturday now. So hopefully you guys have got your potatoes ready and you're snacking on potatoes. But let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, queries, thoughts about the potato reset, any things you'd like me to answer for you or any recipes you'd like me to try and experiment with as well. Um, I'm gonna try and get creative and do some sweet stuff and some savory stuff and I will obviously let you know all of the recipe stuff. Um, but yeah, so anyway, keep me updated. Let me know how things are going for you. I'm gonna give you my honest 
updates every single day how I'm feeling. I have a feeling I'm going to miss beans a lot because I love beans and I crave beans all the time. So that's going to be the hardest thing for me. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do this together and I'm just so excited. Let's do this, everybody. It can be such a massive, incredible ref refresh just to get yourself started. If you feel like you're stuck in a rut, um, or you feel like you're not motivated, this can give you a real kick in the right direction. And then hopefully after this week is up, you can continue eating loads of potatoes and bring in all those other amazing starches and uh, fruits and legumes and all those kinds of things. So anyway, let's do this. So I also wanted to chat about what I made my kids for breakfast this morning, because obviously as a mum and the main cook in the household, I'm going to be continuing to make non-potato related meals for the next week, obviously. Um, so I'll tell you my strategies as I go. <coughs> Come here, little monster. <coughs> so yes, I'm not quite sure how difficult or easy it's going to be for me to uh, resist all of those non-potato things. I mean, potatoes are the most satisfying food scientifically on the planet, so I think I should be good, but I want to cover my bases. So I made my kids, I don't know if you guys have seen my recipe over on Instagram, my chocolate cake with basically just oats and beans and stuff. So I made that for them this morning. So this is the remnants and by gosh, is it delicious. So um, that's a tricky thing for me. So I'll tell you what I did. I know that I have built up a habit and a system where I don't eat higher calorie items like nut butters or nuts uh, on, on a large scale, right? I would tend to use PB2 or something like that. But what I did with this cake, so that I wasn't even tempted to take a lick or anything, is I put a really good spoonful of peanut butter and walnuts and flax and hemp seeds and all that kind of stuff. Fantastic for the babies. The babies need that stuff. If you're eating this way, definitely make sure you give your kids loads of extra healthy fats. Perfect. So I loaded that up with all the healthy fats so that I would not be tempted to eat it at all. And that is what my strategy is going to be over the next week. If there's something... It doesn't matter if I'm not tempted by it, but if there's something I am going to be tempted by, I'm going to put loads of cashews in, I'm going to put loads of walnuts in, I'm going to put loads of stuff in that I know I wouldn't want anyway. And that, that's a habit that I've built up for myself. So maybe that'll help you guys out. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe just feed the rest of your family potatoes for the week and they'll have to suck it up. Um, but anyway, just thought I'd share that little strategy with you because that really helped me out this morning. So my potatoes in the instant pot. I've got sweet potatoes in the oven. Oh. She is obsessed with the noise coming out of the oven, which is not great. Anyway, I need to figure out what veggies I'm actually going to have with my breakfast this morning. So it just says two sweet potatoes for breakfast every morning. So I'm going to be left to figure out the rest, whatever I fancy in the moment. So let's have a look in this extremely vegetable heavy fridge. Absolutely love it. Um, and let's figure out what I'm going to have. So. I fancy, ooh, hold on, I'll hold you that way. No. So, I fancy something fresh. So, let's go for a, a cucumber salad. Um, I made a little cucumber salad over on Instagram a while ago. It is extremely delicious. So that is what I'm gonna make as, my, as my, the first part of my vegetable bit. And then the second part of my vegetable bit, I could either just do a standard nice broccoli. Really? Hi, beautiful. Or I could go for crispy courgettes. I think we're going to go for crispy courgettes. Um, yeah, so cucumber and crispy courgettes to start the day. So Rami and I are, I'll, I'll try and be in the way of the sun. Rami and I are just playing with some Play-Doh. She is having an absolutely fantastic time. And it's so fun that she's gone to the stone. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll move you. Just close the blinds. Um... Yeah, it's so lovely that she's actually gone to the stage where we can play together now. I don't want, don't get me wrong, I love it when they're super tiny, you get the best cuddles and all that kind of stuff. But my favourite bit is when they can start to come alive and play and they have a little bit of character and uh, and they just want to like get into some stuff. Anyway, I'm sitting here playing with Play-Doh, but my brain is in potato universe. I my, my brain just has not stopped thinking about different things that I could do with potatoes. And honestly, I just, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to choose, to be honest. I'm just so excited. So I was going to have whatever breakfast I was talking about. I don't even remember what I was talking about before. But I've now decided, ah, don't eat it, my love. Should we do, look, let's do roly-roly. But I've now decided I want to have 
sweet potato toast. I've never tried sweet potato toast before. Don't know why, but I'm getting hungry. It's like just past 11 and I really fancy uh, something quick and easy. Sweet potatoes aren't done yet. My potatoes have steamed, so I might just start with a steamed potato just to bring in the, um, the potato reset. But I'm really fancying something sweet. So I'm thinking sweet potato toast. So I'm just having a little look at how to make it. Um, so you can just stick it in the um, toaster super easy um, and then load it with stuff. I was thinking about what to load it with because most people load it with avocado or like some nut butter and banana or like you know, berries, apples, whatever. We can't do any of that on the sweet potato, on the potato reset. So I'm thinking some tomatoes. Tomatoes I think would be absolutely delicious. I was also thinking sauteed mushrooms would be really delicious as well, but I might save that for later on in the week. So I'm going to chop up some tomatoes stick them in the air fryer for a little bit with some salt and pepper, maybe some lemon or lime or something. And then um, and then I'm gonna whack that on top of my sweet potato toast. And I'm also gonna have it with a side of uh, something. So anyway, I'll let you know how that goes. But the reason why I wanted to come on and chat is I was just doing that. I thought I'd bring these little silicon things out to play with. And I was just putting the Play-Doh in and I thought, oh my God, if you got mashed potato and you put it in the silicon thingies and you loaded it with something, that and stuck it in the oven. That would be incredible, would it not? So yeah, so I'm going to definitely try this out and um, this just sounds so yummy. The other thing I was thinking about is obviously I'm British in England, it's love or hate, but a lot of people do love Marmite, kind of same as Vegemite, don't know what you have in States that is similar, but Marmite roast potatoes, like why have I not thought of that sooner? That is a classic British dish. Um, so. I'm going to be doing that at some point. I'm thinking I might swap out my uh, curry tonight for Marmite roast potatoes and some broccoli. So anyway, that sounds yum. But anyway, I will bring you all the recipes that are in my head. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do this week, but I'm going to tell you everything that I'm planning to do, regardless of whether I do it. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts. Oh my God, my brave wave continued. So if you did a base of sweet, if you did a base of leftover mash in the bottom of this right you could crisp that up to begin with then for the filling i'm thinking spinach cheesy artichoke kind of dip kind of vibe um in the middle so i'm thinking for the cheesiness potato carrot cheese is fantastic but that for me that really needs some kind of nut like cashew or bean like white bean kind of element to give it that kind of creamy thing but a cauliflower like Alfredo sauce kind of thing is very cheesy in its own right, especially if you do like mooch and some potato in there, maybe a little bit of potato or something. That'll be nice and creamy. And then mix that in with some artichoke and some spinach and some garlic and stuff like that. And put that in your little mashed thingies and ho, oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Oh my gosh, guys, I'm just, I'm too excited. I've got all my things on the go. Oh, my sweet potato toast. Let's just see. So I've got my sweet potato toast cooking in the, oh, in the oven. It needs to go in for another spin. I've got my tomatoes in the air fryer. I was gonna do a cucumber salad, but actually I realized I'm gonna want something a little bit more substantial. So I'm going to go for cabbage because cabbage really fills me up so nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna chop that, saute that my usual way. And I was getting a little snacky, it's half 11. I was faffing around with roms. So I thought I would have a little potato. Mm. just to get things going my strategy is to make regular meals and then just have potatoes to snack on at all times because um, i never want to find myself in a position where i'm hungry in the slightest so anyway mm, 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 mm. i'm excited to try out all the different varieties of potato i've got as well if i was in america oh boy i would buy so many varieties of sweet potato but in the uk unfortunately I can get the orange one, don't know what it is, but I can't get uh, Japanese, Hannah's, all of those amazing ones that I know would be my absolute favorites. Can't get them. So if you guys are doing this in the States, oh, you guys are very lucky. Just know how lucky you are. I would feast on those basically 24 seven. So um, go out there and get yourself loads of varieties of potatoes. Even within potatoes, you can have variety. Oh, hot. So I'm also just uh, peeling and chopping up a few of these to make some mash. I'm gonna do quite a big bit of mash. So like maybe four of these bad boys. But I was thinking, having looked at my tomatoes just there, I've realized tomatoes are technically a fruit. 
However, um, for this purpose, I'm going to debate that. So tomatoes and cucumbers and stuff that would be considered a fruit, I am considering a vegetable for this um, potato reset. And I just thought I'd let you know, in case there was any questions or concerns about that, I am going tomato and cucumber. Just realised I also never really chatted about the full benefits of the potato reset. So... The first thing is, obviously, potatoes in and of themselves are fantastic for weight loss. They are super low calorie density. I think it's like 300 calories per pound or something. So, therefore, when you're eating such low calorie density foods, you're able to eat them in such massive volumes without getting loads of extra calories. And therefore, and therefore you're able to stay full and satisfied all the time, eating as much as you want. So that is the basic principle. I'm sure you guys know all that anyway. Um, but the other reason why it's fantastic to do something like a potato reset or a Mary's Mini, uh, feel free to go and check that out if you don't know what that is. And I might do some of those later just for fun. Um, your cake's falling down because I keep on chopping. Oh, muffins. Um, that wasn't even cooking, little rascal. But bas basically, when you have something, the same thing again and again, obviously you, ha you have less variety in your life, right? And variety in your life can often... So variety in your life can cause you to overeat just because you are so excited about all the different flavors. Like, if you, you know, if you have a big bowl of plain potatoes or, and we're talking about the same kind of calories here, um, or if you have like a massive um pile of potato salad and sushi and pasta same volume which one are you going to eat more of you're going to eat more when there's the variety so doing something like a potato reset really get, eliminates that variety and also for anyone who's just starting out or in general it also eliminates decision decision fatigue you haven't got to think necessarily oh what meal am i going to make you think what am i going to do with potatoes which is such an easier route to take um so anyway, so those are some of the benefits of the potato reset. Um, so my breakfast is ready. Keep in mind, I've already eaten those two potatoes. Um, so this is my breakfast. I'm very excited about it. So some of the sweet potato toast I did in the toaster. And then the rest of it I did in the air fryer. And I realized the air fryer is so much easier and so much faster. Because um, you don't have to keep clicking it and putting it down. And I totally keep on forgetting to do that. So anyway, this is really, really yum. Oh, the other thing that is lovely about this is that Romy absolutely adores potatoes. So she is going to be enjoying all these potatoes with me on top of other stuff, obviously. So she's loving the, <laughs> she's eaten about two regular potatoes and she's eaten some of the sweet potato toast as well, aren't you tiny? Clever kill. So yeah, I wanna show you what I do with the sweet potato toast. So, Romy, do you want some? Here you go, babes. So for Romy, I'm just going to slice it up like that, and she's going to enjoy that. But what I was going to say is, so these tomatoes are actually delicious. So I literally just air fried them with salt and pepper, and then I'm going to, oh, knife's in the way. Then I'm just going to squish those babies down a bit. Mm, look at that. And then just enjoy. Mm, 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 mm. That's actually really yum. Now, these have been sitting out for a while because I had to do loads of batches. You want some more? Oh, I'm so sorry. There you go, sweet bean. Yeah, they've been sitting out, out for a while because I had to do loads of different batches. So they're not like as crispy as they were before, but they're still very yum. Mmm. First potato meal. Success. Oh, yes. I was going to make another point about why the potato reset is fantastic. So I've noticed myself get out of the habit of using potatoes that much. I have a lot of rice and a lot of like pastory things and just other stuff in general, which is all fantastic. But potatoes are honestly the best starch for weight loss. One of the best starches for weight loss anyway, let's say. Um, so not only is this potato reset fantastic because super low calorie density, it um, adjusts your taste buds again, resets your taste buds, uh, but also it gets me into the habit of making potatoes again. I... After this week, I know I'm going to continue eating a heck of a lot more potatoes than I have been the past week. So anyway, there's so many benefits to this um, potato reset. So if you guys are kind of on the fence about it, I highly recommend giving it a go. And the other benefit is it's also so much cheaper um, because obviously potatoes are like super, super cheap. Mm. Anyway, these veggies, as you know, 
are insanely delicious. I absolutely love them. Wow, Rami has finished a good chunk of uh, my sweet potato toast. I may have to make another batch because she's absolutely loving it. I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. I'm coming. Um, but anyway, I'm really glad that she's enjoying it too. So I cooked up a bunch of veggies, like half a cabbage and a courgette. Uh, and it was like quite a big portion and plated up, but that was about half. Anyway, I went back and I had the other half. So I'm just like nearly finished. I'm going to finish this whole thing. Um, it was very, very yum, but uh, only one sweet potato. It's because of the sweet potato toast. It was taking ages to actually make the toast. I would have liked two sweet potatoes. Oh my God, I've got to check them in the oven. Jesus Christ. Anyway, they hopefully they're not too burnt and they're nicely caramelized in there. So anyway, my point is I might have another sweet potato. Um, it's also because of what time it is. Like what time actually is it? It is, yeah, it's quarter past 12. So anyway, so I'm due some more, more potatoes. So I'll let you know what I end up having, but it'll probably be sweet and cheerful, either a sweet potato or some more regular potatoes. So just to keep you updated, my lips are purple, by the way, because of all that purple cabbage. It always happens to me. Anyway, uh, my sweet potatoes are done. And this is what I mean. But oh my God, it's actually very hot. But see how soft and juicy and see the caramel coming out of them oh my gosh that's actually mm. delicious but darn hot anyway that's what a good sweet potato is to me the sweetness comes out and it comes to life anyway obviously i said i've got that i've got my instant pot full of taties and i've also got loads of mash in here now um so i might have a little bowl of mash now as my lunch and then I'm going to put the rest of it in some Tupperware to use for some fun recipes for later. Anyway, that is my plan. So I am stuck on the couch. <clears throat> Rami is fast asleep. It is about 2.30 and I have not eaten anything since breakfast. And I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, but it's the debate of do I wake Rami up or do I not? And I don't know which one's going to win. I also need to pee, so that's a tricky decision. I do have to leave the house in about... Oh my gosh, actually, I have to leave the house like right now. What am I doing? Okay, bye. I'm going to take a potato with me on the go. Oh, Romy is very, very tired still. So, I literally need to go out the door now. So I'm shoving some... Mm, shoving some of this mash in my face right now. Um, mm, actually, that'll do the trick. Mm, yeah. Very handy to have a big old pile of mash ready just in case. Mm. Anyway, let's go. Casually walking down the street with two potatoes in hand is how the next week is going to go for me. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've already had quite a lot of potatoes today. And what's interesting is I'm eating these potatoes, right? Because I'm hungry. Uh, there's nothing on them, there's no salt, there's nothing. Um, so they're not tasting super explode, uh, super exciting they're also not hot i love a hot potato but a warmy kind of lukewarm potato is like a bit meh right unless you're hungry yeah if you're hungry it's like oh my gosh yes this is amazing because your body needs food but that is the magic of the potato reset when you eat the same thing again and again you start to only want to eat when you are hungry so if you're having trouble staying in tune with your body's hunger fullness cues jump onto this potato reset because you will get in tune with it really darn quickly um when you're not hungry you will not want to eat any potatoes because you've eaten but tons of potatoes already so anyway i just thought that was really interesting i'm loving it because i'm hungry but i know if i wasn't hungry it wouldn't interest me in the slightest hello hello so it is about 4 30 and i'm making dinner because i am leaving at 5 15 to go to my um, aunt's place um so i'll show you what i've got cooking up at the moment um so i have got a big batch of mash going on here now i did make mash earlier but the mash i made earlier was actually to be stored so i could make crispy little things later on in the week so i've got two tupperwares of mash and loads of this um so yes yeah, so we're making mash and i'm doing a lovely mushroom and shallot gravy over here and just some simple broccoli so keeping it simple tonight but it's going to be very delicious and satisfying and the whole family will enjoy it as well and i'm going to have that and i'm thinking for pudding i might go for a little sweet potato heaven so um anyway i'll keep you updated and i'll show you what my meal looks like when it comes together but um, i'm not feeling super super hungry 
It's interesting, I am hungry, but I'm not hungry. I feel like I'm hungry for something else, but I'm not really hungry for potatoes. So it's an interesting observation. So am I truly hungry? I don't know. Okay, guys, I've got my feast, and I just want to show you before I dig in, because I need to leave very soon. So I've got my 50-50 plate, mash with broccoli and my mushroom <coughs> gravy. Uh, kids are eating exactly the same. Romy is absolutely loving the mash and the gravy combination. Here you go, Roms. You want some more? Mmm, that yum yum. <coughs> anyway. I'm just teaching Abe supercalifragilisticexpialidocious to anyone who knows that one. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just say this gravy is so, so yummy, completely fat free, whole foods. Um, it's, it's incredible. And if you want the recipe, I know I don't do a lot of recipes on here. If you want the recipe, it's either somewhere way back in my Instagram. So feel free to go and find it. But it's, it was a while ago. Or again, you can check it out in my meal plan. I mean, I don't really mind if you buy the meal plan, but if you guys want all the recipes, then feel free to, it's totally up to you. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go and dig into this delicious bowl of goodness. And so are we all. And then I'm gonna head out, but I'm gonna take a couple of sweet potatoes with me, I think just in case I get snacky. Hello, hello. I have just been out <clears throat> to my aunts and um, just come back, but I wanted to share that I did bring a couple of sweet potatoes with me just in case I got hungry but I am not hungry in the slightest. In fact, I'm still feeling absolutely stuffed from dinner, so this was not needed at all. It's going dark now. Okay, well, that's awkward. <laughs>